It's Rabbi Ben Herman to discuss the Jewish rules of war. We see the daily carnage in Ukraine. We see Russia using Iranian drones to target civilians. And we also see refugees, including a Jewish refugee family from the destroyed Ukrainian city of Mariupol, who has settled here in Sacramento. I want to look at war in Judaism from three perspectives, from the Talmud, from uh, modern day political theory, and from what Russia has been doing. In the Talmud, it talks about two different types of war. There's a Mohammed Rishut, which is an optional war, which would be often an offensive war to expand one's territory, and Mohammed Mitzvah, a required war for the purpose of self-defense. And before engaging in a Mohammed Rashid, an optional war, one needs to ask for peace and uh, cannot do so unprovoked. Michael Walzer, who is the modern day expert on just war theory, talks about wars being just only if they meet modern day conventions, if civilians are not targeted. We have seen Russia attack unprovoked with aid from Iran. We have seen the bombing of civilian uh, cities. We have seen mass exodus from refugees. And we have also not seen any overtures from peace from Russia's perspective. Russia's war is an unprovoked act of aggression that does not fit with Jewish just war theory and with a Mohammed mitzvah. I hope that you found this interesting and that you will do what is meaningful to you, be it donations, political action, or other approaches in order to help those afflicted by the war in Ukraine all of the refugees in need of assistance. Please feel free to give me your feedback on future topics.